Hello YouTube, here we are, another day, another video. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a hoarder, a collector, a reseller, in that order. I'm just a hoarder, really, and a poet, and I didn't know it. Um, so what I'm doing, what I have to do now, is go through my hoards, my collections, and I'm um, gonna sell them and make some money, because I need it to fix this house up. Um, so today, um, we're gonna talk about old vintage photos and can they make you money? The short answer is yes. Um, I often go to auctions and stuff, anything like this. This is like an old broken suitcase, but it was full of vintage photos. So I grabbed that. Oh, like everything in this hoard, you know, I just can't remember what I paid for stuff. I'm really disorganized, but I don't pay a lot for stuff. So I know Look, I would have paid about 30 quid for it, I suppose. And there's a good, um, at least 200 photos in there. Not all of them will be saleable, but what you do, you pick out the ones which are saleable, and then you sell the rest of them off as a job lot to um, a historian or a scrapbooker or you, anyone who wants a um, bundle of old photos. And you quite often will get the your initial outlay back from the bundle that you sell. So um, all the rest selling them individually is pure profit. But, um, so saying I haven't sold stuff, I have sold stuff in the past. Um, oh wow, look at him sitting on the top. It's very nice, gentle. Oh, hang on, I need to sort out this blurring thing. Crazy lamp lady puts her hand up to stop it from blurring. Because apparently my sister said I got too much stuff going on in the bag. <laughs> Which, you know, there's too much stuff going on in the whole of this house. I, I wouldn't be able to film anywhere without having lots of stuff going on in the background. So sorry about that. Um, I've actually got another camera. Look at this. So I'm going to shut up talking. And um, what will I'll bring this camera in overhead and we'll go through the photos. But just a couple of points to begin with. Um, old photos won't make you rich. You know, that's not why we're here. You're not going to be making... 500 quid on a single photo unless it's some historical thing like you found one of the Titanic or I think the most expensive one was somebody found an old photo of Buffalo Bill or something I'm um, in a thrift store so they are still out there you you know but that's like getting a lottery ticket isn't it we're just talking about making a little bit of money from something that you enjoy um and old photos are great I mean half the reason I keep them is because I love looking at them and I will get them out. I will get this box out to list on Etsy or eBay. And then I just spend the afternoon just looking at them instead. <laughs> I'm talking of Etsy and eBay. Um, so there are different types of um, old photographs through like the evolution of photography. Um, but I don't get into that. I will research that because I need to learn it and I'll do another video so we can learn together. But basically at the level that I trade at, it's all about the subject of the photograph. And there are quite a few different subjects. There's military photographs, um, transportation, fashion, social history, um, industry. And I've found in the past that selling on Etsy and selling on eBay, different um, subject types are more suited to those platforms. So for example, on eBay, I would put on the locomotives, the transportation, industry, military stuff. And on Etsy, I would put on the fashion, the beautiful women, the dapper gentlemen, more quirky things, you know. This is a complete generalization, but I tend to think of eBay as kind of like the male collectors and Etsy as the female collectors. I'm not saying that men and women, it's just the things which are stereotypically, historically thought of as male and female. That's kind of a, a very rough rule of thumb. Um, but also as well, it's because I tend to find that military and transportation photographs can get a little bit more money. If you get some good ones, put them on eBay as an auction and they can go up to like 30 or 40 quid. Whereas the uh, fashion, um, beautiful ladies and glamour shots and stuff um, tend to go for about six or seven pounds each. So I just put them on Etsy at a set price. Um, do you know I had a Etsy shop selling photos and I just, because I do the card company, um, which takes up all of my time, especially this time of year because of Christmas, um, I pause that account. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get it started. I'm, when I finish this video, okay, look, here's, right 
let's see together um, what the current trade, current climate is like for selling old photos. So I'm going to set up an Etsy shop, putting on exactly what I've just talked about, and then I'm going to do an eBay. I'll put some of them on eBay as auctions and we'll see what happens. But anyway, let's dive into the box and see what we have, because I haven't had a proper look at these for ages. Activate overhead camera. Okay, how are we going to do this? I'm going to move the case out of the way and show you on this very <laughs> dirty, scratched old table. So let's see what we've got. I'll rattle through them and I'll pause at any. So look, here's that gentleman again. Is that close enough? Shall I go in? Hang on. So, um, you know, these photographs of dapper gentlemen and stuff, they, they sell well on Etsy. People like this fashion and it helps that he's really handsome and it's a really well posed photograph. So I, you know, put five or six quid on that. Okay. Animals, horses, very sweet. Um, animal photographs do go well, equestrian stuff would go out. Oh, um, some old photos are quite small, by the way. So if you're listing them, make sure you put the measurements in because a couple of times I've bought photographs and it's been quite disappointing when they've arrived. Um, older snapshots and stuff tend to be very small. I, when I list them, I always put a ruler next to them. Um, ah, I guess this is kind of military. Well, she's a handsome woman, isn't she? That's a lovely photograph, you know. It's a bit of dirt on there. That's a shame. But um, right, I'll list her. Nice couples photograph there. Oh, look at these two. Hang on. Off for a ski. That's wonderful. Wow, I mean, really, that's just a candid photograph, isn't it? But it's so... Look, at even with the line of perspective and stuff going down behind them. Do you think that's posed? Do you think they're catalogue models? Here's a postcard, but then of course when people went on holiday, they would take their photos and send them as... They're, they definitely, they're, they're going to sell, no problem. Another one. Oh look, here we are, same woman. She looks a bit like um, Villanelle. What's her name? Killing Eve. Jodie Comer. She's got the look of her. Perhaps she was an assassin. <laughs> Um, group photographs, very nice, saying cheers. Another one, I love these, you can't really see, can you? Um, gosh, everybody used to be so smart and good looking, didn't they? Love them. Oh, a nice one of a father and a daughter. A bit of nerd glamour. Nice necklace and specs going on. So you see how, they, uh, how these sizes vary, you see? So just be very clear when you, um, sell them about the oh look this is a woman taking a photograph look at that camera wow how interesting so again i mean this would be social history i suppose oh there's a child you know i don't really um sorry i'm wobbling the table i don't really um deal in children <laughs> um no i i kind of they kind of don't interest me <laughs> But yeah, they're, well, they're not. Everybody takes photos of their babies. They're, they're just everywhere, aren't they? Um, a bit of transportation here with a couple posing by the tram. Um, who else have we got? Oh, she's a bit sad, isn't she? Not everyone likes having their picture taken. <laughs> he did. He loves having his picture taken. Jack the Lad. All of these, all of these nice portraits stick them on i don't know five or six quid and um they should sell eventually oh this is that's very sweet talking of not liking pictures of children but actually that's do you know what as well people will um might buy these to put on their websites or in editorials and stuff you know that's a really sweet photograph actually after just saying i don't like photographs of children this will sell no trouble a gentleman with his um model tram set that's yeah oh look hang on now here's the thing this is a press photograph i thought it might have been which is why i flipped it over so obviously they did a feature okay, okay 1959 george 
they did a feature about George and his model railway, his model tramway, and they took this photo. Well, that's great. I'd put that one on eBay, you see, and I'd put it on as an auction because I think people would like that. Ah, a nice little girl with a tambourine. My sister. No, I've got a story about my sister and a tambourine, but I won't. This isn't. Th oh, look at these. Wow, they're all having a picnic. And the car, look, the dog. Is that a dog in the car? Oh, my God, I love this photograph. Now, you see, this is the trouble with dealing old photographs. It's because I just want to keep them all. That's wonderful. Ah, nerd boy here smoking a cigarette. He's actually quite cool, isn't he? Wow. Oh, look, now here we're coming a bit later here. What would you say these are? Four, um, 50s, 60s with those? Is that an A-line dress? The beginnings of the beehive hairstyle, would you say? Wonderful. Well, that definitely, that's one for Etsy. And we'd get six or seven quid for that. Going right back older here. A distinguished gentleman in his trench coat. Now, <laughs> look at this one. Hang on. That's fun. Look at him. Granddad and grandma out with the kids. That's really nice, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them all. Oh, it's a swim meet. I remember this one. There's some handsome fellows on this. The camera's not going to focus in properly, is it? If I hold it up a bit closer, will it focus? Yeah. Well, you know, they uh, um, athletic men in their singlets sell very well. Um, so here's a few smaller ones here. Oh, somebody in his Speedos. Um, Oh my god, they're all amazing. Oh, look at these two. A young couple in the first flushes of love. Or are they brother and sister? They do look quite similar. But then you're supposed to go out with people who look like you subconsciously, aren't you? Anyway, this isn't a psychology YouTube channel. <laughs> um, love it. Oh gosh, look at this one. They're on a skiing holiday, I would say, and they're having that apre ski in their woolly hats. And gosh, they look quite this. Uh, here's another thing. Okay, well, this one's been ripped out of a um, photo album. So just be very clear. When I when I sell photographs, I always take a photo of not just the front, but also the back, so people can be very clear about um, what they're getting. Oh look, a little Christmas. Ah, oh, aren't they sweet? Gosh, three little children. 1949. So that's probably a photograph that a family took to use as their Christmas postcard that year. Well, that would have no trouble selling. Very sweet. Oh, wow. Oh my, look. How cute is that? Wow, this guy has to be a film star, doesn't he? He looks like Steve McQueen. Um. Oh, do you know what? I got these in France, in Clignacourt, the flea market, about a year and a half, well, before the pandemic, it must be two years ago. He could be a French film star, do you think? Pierre Danny? It's a great shot, isn't it? Um, oh, as well, look, some of these photos will be creased. And a lot of people, you know, don't, I don't mind that. Adds to the vintage in a way, but if somebody's going to frame it or something... Uh, sorry, I'm wobbling the table. I've got to stop. Um, just be very clear about um, saying if it's creased or whatever. Look at these two. Well, do you think this is at the christening of their baby? Look, they're both nerds. I love them. Oh, they're so happy. Oh, my God. I'm never selling any of them. Oh, look, talking of small photographs. Well, that's tiny, isn't it? She's very pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at these two. Gosh. He looks trouble, doesn't he? And she adores him. Do you think they're like Bonnie and Clyde and they've been on the run? You see, <laughs> that's the thing. I make up stories for all of them. It's why I take so... Oh, there's way too... Oh, look at these two. How funny. There's me saying I don't like photographs of children. There's a couple of cowboys. Oh, mate. Oh, I love them all. Oh, dear. 
Oh, aren't they just wonderful? Who's that? Gosh, he looks a bit like Adamant, but obviously it's not. And mind you, look what they're wearing. I would say this is. And oh, this could be the late 60s, don't you think? There's a double-decker bus. What does it say on the side of the double-decker bus? Queen Anne. Oh no, look, they're wearing much more casual clothes. Oh, obviously he's an act of doing something. He's dressed up for a reason, isn't he? But that's a much later photograph. How interesting. Gosh, this is a real... Um, mishmash of everything isn't it um oh and you get these studio shots as well hang on a second let's okay you get these studio shots as well now she's not sat on the beach in a deck on the beach she sat in a studio who have put sand on the floor and that's a backdrop and um people would have those taken to um you know, not uh, once upon a time we didn't have um, selfie sticks and phone cameras. If you wanted a photo of yourself, you'd have to go to a studio. Oh my goodness, so much to look at. Look at these. Do you know what? I just, I really take a lot of these at face value and I need to um, hook up with a historian or something who can come round and just fill in the detail really. Because um, look at these hats. How wonderful are they? Wow. Oh, but do you know what? I think I'm going to stop because there's so many. Oh, my God. Look at him. <laughs> look at his fringe. That's like um, there's something about Mary. Do you remember that film? I wonder if he's done that to his. Oh, let, let's just do a few more. Look at these two. Wow. How wonderful. Gossiping over the... Um, back fence i'm not selling any of these what can i do with them oh do you know what some people do now some people if you go onto etsy or something they, they scan these in they scan them in and then they sell digital downloads now not all of them would be um appropriate but for that but something like this which is just so brilliant that you think more than one person is going to like um so you can, as well as just selling these photos, you know, you can um, scan them in and sell them time and time again. And people download them. People don't get the physical photo, but you sell it for a couple of pounds and people can download them. And then they print them out at home because don't forget, home printers have really evolved in the last few years and people print their own photos at home. So if people see something like um, this man with a donkey, <laughs> oh my God this man with a donkey and they want to put that in a frame at home they could literally just download it print it out at home and put it in a frame that he's amazing wow gosh look at how lovely they are moustaches were big a hundred years ago oh do you know what i think i'm gonna have to um stop because there's just so many um, we'll do another video, but I'm doing a video a day, so that's fine. We'll do some more photos tomorrow and I'll get those um, accounts started. The Etsy and the, yeah, okay. I'm going to disengage the, um, overhead camera. Um, so look, I'm really aware I'm doing a video every day and I'm really aware that I can just talk forever. So, um, I'll do another photo video very soon and I'll set up those shops. Okay, and we'll um, watch how well they do. Okay, goodbye.